I claim that I am a descendant of uh, a Cromwellian soldier in the Iron Islands. Uh, and I'm proud of that, by the way. Uh, he was a Republican and a good man, uh, Oliver Cromwell. <laughs> oh, he was. Check it out. He was a Republican. He beheaded the king. Very necessary at the time. We don't often hear about the man himself behind um, the poem, so that's really what I was trying to do and managed to dig up a lot of interesting aspects of his life, I suppose, that we hadn't heard of um, previously, um, such as his um, political interests, which I'll talk a little bit about tomorrow. No a frame at Khan of War, a Casa Shiskudian Cladach, the Afrikam at a Warge, a raw heave in Yelan, the Pilleriala, a gaidi hard la hile doon, a tivoyas, Agas Vishi brished rapa o hua, Agas Screchi, a gingly in Yeradua. But perhaps more jarringly for increasingly vocal social reformers who pitted themselves against what they viewed as indecent literature and behaviour in the Free State period. O'Flaherty's novels vibrate with an obsessive interest in Dublin's sexual and commercial underworlds, returning to the figure of the prostitute and presenting sympathetic, ambiguous and often erotic renderings of this particular social outcast. And that's the way um, Tom O'Flaherty would have gone to the shore to, to go to the kelp, you know, and that, that's what that story was about. And I know um, we'll, we'll come to that. So I think O'Duron's politics are a lot more complicated maybe uh, than the O'Flaherty brothers. And it's something that hasn't really um, been looked at yet because if we look, I think we can go on the screen. Kate Kianala. Kate Kianala. Yeah. Um, uh, Nervi Odiranis Oige. So when he went to um, Galway, first of all, he was actually involved in the post office workers' union, something that maybe um, wasn't realised. And this was um, a quote that he said. Mm -hmm. 